Good. <laughs> How was your day? Fantastic. Well right. <laughs> How'd you guys look? First day in full pads, right? Yeah, first day in full pads. Uh, install number five uh, with uh, more install going in. Thought they uh, handled it really well. Thought they came out with energy after five days of uh, practice and uh, executed uh, really, really well today. I was excited about it. How much credit does Drew get for that? You talked about it some, him getting those guys together. He said that some they grabbed some old playbooks and stuff like that and tried to and tried to run, basically run real practices on their own this summer. Does he get some, some credit for how, I guess, smooth things have gone to this point? Well, that's their job. I think everybody was part of that this summer, you know. Uh, we talked to him about the first meeting. We talked to him about we've got high expectations for this offense. And uh, with high expectations, you got to pay a price. And, and we believe they can they can do it. But now it's about coming out here. And the coach talked about the fine strokes. And uh, you have the fine strokes. And then with the fine strokes, uh, you, that's, that's the detail. And what I saw today was the detail, you know? And we just got to do that. Now it becomes the consistency part. If we can be consistent and, and do it, you got a chance. We can't be up and down as an offense throughout the year. You got no chance. There's going to be some highs and lows in the game, but you got to be consistent when you're doing it and recovering that short term memory. Sorry about that. That's all right. I'm trying not to give anybody shit out. I apologize. No, I told you that I'm just trying to miss anybody else. Eddie, Eddie, do you have a specific number of wide receivers that you want in the rotation? How do you? No, I, I, you know, you got to play the best ones. You got to play the ones that are producing. And that's what we're finding out right now. The one thing that we have right now that's a great thing at the wide receiver position, we got guys competing. They're competing to get on the field. And they're competing at the running back position to get on the field. Justin Riggs is pushing Greg Hart and CJ to, to get on the field. I mean, it's awesome. And when you do that, you got a chance. Landon Young's pressing our guys to go out there and play. And when you have competition, then you got it. Then that's what's going to make a better uh, our football team. And I think they've done a great job here of recruiting uh, to make it to where you do have competition. Eddie, you met, Mark mentioned Justin Riggs yesterday. You just mentioned it. What do you like about him? Soft hands, listens, loves the game. You stick your face in there. He's six, whatever, 100 and then 240 and can run. All those things I love. What are you seeing from Greg and, and from CJ? And how do they sort of push each other? And, and specifically, what does Greg add? Well, Greg, Greg actually, you know, people, are, it's, it's interesting. Greg can run. You know, he, he can run pretty well. He's really good in and out of his breaks. And, uh, I, I think they just, they bring two guys that are athletic that like each other, you know, and I think they push each other, and I think that's what uh, makes them have fun every day and to compete, you know. Have you used any two tight end sets? Is that something that you ponder? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel good about depth there with the departure of Daryl Long? You still still like what you have there? You can't have enough tight ends. You really can't. That's one that, to me, is one of the toughest um, uh, uh, athletes to, to recruit is the tight end. The big, tall guy that, that can have athleticism and catch the ball and run and, and do things in space. So, But yeah, we'll be okay. we got some fullback type guys' bodies that can do the exact same thing. Uh, and so that works out. What about Landon Young that stood out even with one man and the pads? Uh, you know, freshman, I'm not going to jump on any wagon there yet and he's got a lot going on with, with all the calls and everything he's got the boy you can see is that and saw saw a lot of toughness in him you know and you know it, it's hard in the first couple of days you go with no pads and then they put the pads on and you can just see he, he's not backing down uh, he's honing his craft and, and i love that he, he's a good football player and you talked about install when camp began how much did you have left to install in your office or is this just going back over what you did Really today, you know, it is, it's our five installs and, and we've got it all in third down red zone. But we had told you at the beginning that we were going to challenge them. So tomorrow's going to be interesting because we got a double day and we're still installing two more, uh, another day. we got another something that they have not done. Right. They didn't do it in summer and they didn't do it last spring. This is stuff from, from study that we felt like we could do and we were going to try it. So uh, we've got some stuff that we're going to put in tomorrow that will be interesting to see how they handle it because now you're putting new stuff in and then we're going to go back to install one and five. Now it's a big jumble of everything. And now, you know, we'll see where they're at. With the whole part, whole philosophy? Absolutely. You know, you can do it either way. You can throw it all up on the wall, see what sticks, or, or, or baby them and say, hey, here you go, here you go. I've just been with guys and, and coordinators that I grew up with 
they threw it all up there and said, let's go. Then, when we get ready two weeks out, hey, let's look at our cut-ups and see what we're doing well, what's our best personnel, and then that's <laughs> Does that depend on who you're coaching or who's coaching them? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the various ways of teaching. Is it what you're comfortable with, or do you have to read your personnel? Personnel, absolutely. we got to see what our personnel can do. Where are we most successful at? Uh, what plays? You know, it might be a scheme, just take out. You know, we might be good against our defense right now, but whoever we're playing that week might not run that certain defense. That scheme's not good. So let's take out those things that aren't good against that, and let's put in the rest of it that we thought was good against that defense, and then go. How's, how's Drew throwing the ball so far? Okay. Good. On target, the last two days have been really good. Uh, getting up in that 70 percentile, 68, 69, 70. That's, you know, if you're there, you're, you're doing well. And those are in team, try to try live team situations. So, uh, you know, he was a little low at the beginning. Shoulder pads on since April, you know. It's just, but yeah, last two days he's been on target. Steven's been on target too. I've been happy with him too in terms of his uh, uh, percentage of target throws. What have you seen out of K1 Ross, and what can he sort of add to that receiver mix? Well, he, you know, he's lost a little bit, you know, but he, and he's trying. He's that big body that you love at receiver, you know. And it's, he's got more explosion than I thought. Uh, but he's just kind of trying to fill and get back into it, you know, he's so far behind. But uh, hopefully we can get him ready and then he's a guy that can help us, whether it be game three or game six, you know, if he can be ready, then uh, we'll put him in there. But we want to make sure that he's ready. You mentioned JoJo as a potential leader. What do you see from him kind of locally out on the field? And have you seen an evolution even since you got here? Evolution is interesting with JoJo. <laughs> because you've got to learn to, you get to know when to turn it on and turn it on. JoJo, as you know, he likes to have fun and laugh. But when JoJo gets out here, he practices. He gets after it, okay? And so he and I are just kind of getting to know each other of, of, of when he needs to be like that and not to be like that. If he tries with the team, he is trying to be a leader, but he just got to understand me and my personality because when we get out here, it's different. And we're in our meeting room and we're going through things, then man, let's have fun and all that. I laugh out here and we have a good time, but when we get inside the right lines, it's time to go work. Who on this roster most mirrors that your personality? Is there a player that reminds you of yourself? Maybe you're one of a kind. I'm a no. You know, with the intensity, you know, I like uh, you know, Nick and the Tote. You know, they're always pretty. They're locked in everything that you do. You know what I mean? And they really, you can hear them talking to the old line when something's not going right. So I'd say those two guys, you know, they might not get as vocal as I do. But, you know, when they talk, they listen. And that's what you need. Last one. Any residency from Boone today? Being a full fast for the first time back up in contact since spring. I've been excited about Boone, what he's doing. You know, he's swimming the ball vertical. It's got to be a one cut. I mean, it's got to be vertical. We got to. He can't go side to side now. Not in this league. So if he wants to play at the next league. You better learn how to get vertical. And you know what? That's what he's doing. And he's dropping Pat. And, and I'm excited where he's at. Right? Uh-huh. One more. She's good. What do you see from Drew in the Huskies? Well, I think what he's doing right now is that he's managing everybody. You know, if somebody's not lined up right, now and those. Hey, hey, come on, get over there. You know, we got motion. You're starting there. You're coming this way. That's what you got to do. If that back's on the wrong side, hey, come on. And we didn't see that much in the spring, and I'm asking him to do more vocal that way because back's on the wrong side, eventually it's going to be him that gets the rear end knocked into the third, you know? So he's got to be in control.